squirrels. Uh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. No, I'm pretty sure you wanted to eat it. And these dogs are... Well, oh god. Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! <laughs> Their heads were so tiny. It was weird. Ma'am, are you okay? Oh, yep, she's uh, These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! <laughs> Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Hmm. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Ooh. Think it over. Patches. Yeah, I want a patch. And that's kind of the door I came through, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm the I one that let him in. I town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Well, I already gave it to the... Gave the rest of it to Bread. I, uh, I'll give it to her. Because this seems like the smarter choice, right? I mean, if I'm going after dangerous animals, I need a sword or something. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor. My bed nowhere to be found. Okay. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Yeah, what weirdo would just take somebody's bed? I want this. Give me that. Look at it. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. I'll give you a gold coin for it because it's super pretty. <laughs> I want it. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Ooh. Okay. I'll have to remember that, because I'm sure there's going to be something that I'm going to have to... Ooh. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. Well, get on it. Excuse me, Ariana. Oh, goodness. Uh, cut the yawn from her. They're contagious, you know. Um, all right, well. Can I... Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. Oh, I definitely don't have 50. So, you know what you want? Uh, where can I find a hideous beast eye? What's that weapon on the wall? Yeah, let's ask her about the weapon. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for <laughs> battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? <laughs> oh, that? No, no. That's for gardening. Are you serious? I use it to trim my hedges. Are you serious? Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one <gasps> I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attention. Oh, prickly situation, I know. Oh, God, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, you guys remember? Uh, it, uh, bleh, I'm all flustered now. Because <laughs> that was great. Um, the, uh, the thorns back leading to the well. I need that for him. So, uh, where can I find a hideous beast eye? Just Do you to have ask. any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it's it all. It's gonna be me. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. Perhaps, but uh, you didn't actually tell me where to find a beast eye. So yeah, we have that going for us. Also, I just wanted to say, I really like the idea of uh, Th this is how we should choose our presidents here in the U.S. Just, just to have a, a a competition, a night fight where everybody just goes into a big ring and just battles each other, and whoever comes out on top wins. 
There you go. <laughs> they'll, they'll be the most clever, they'll be the most strong, and they'll be a great leader. I think it's perfect. Nothing could ever go wrong with that plan. So give me a garden tool. <laughs> How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. I'll take it. Can't, I want it. Bye. Trust that gut of yours. I will. I, I want the garden tool. Whoa. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing I an want eye. it. I want it. Give it to me. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? Yes. I did. The bowl costs a fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. Yes. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Yes. Those plants will never see it coming. Yes. 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 So good. Look at it. That's awesome. Okay. I'm super happy right now. That thing's great. All right. Let's go check out the... Because I actually gave gold coins to the bread... I, I'm just going to call it the bread hut over here. And see... If I can tell him that I'm the one that dropped the gold coins in the plate. Sometimes you roll the dice and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out and my supplier has gone missing, I got a generous yeah. tip. When I wasn't even here. It was me. Oh, bless their soul. They probably left it as a thank you for my charity work. No one ever goes hungry when I'm around. Well, now, you fine strapping lad. How may I help you? Oh, I hate to tell him that I kind of just left it on accident. That was that was absolutely my bad because <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. Oh, hope you're hungry. Yeah, I'm the one that uh, I'm the one that put the stuff in the thing. That's not a delicious chocolate hideous beast side cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. I love your mustache, by the Frankly, way. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic. So much fighting and needless killing. Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food. If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie. You look I like agree. a compassionate fella, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. So he's going to hate me if I... If I... Duh, okay. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. Sweet. However, I ran out of bitter no. root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. Sweet. What's today's special? Oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie, a delicacy big enough to feed an army or someone with the appetite of an army. Hmm. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Uh, okay. Well, don't judge. I won't. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? You have a point. Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered, but I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Oh. All right, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted oh, no. price of one gold coin. That's too late. I already spent it. Good day. Orange, you glad you came here today? Don't you dare. Don't you dare do a food pun. I hate you. I'm leaving. But it's too late. I already spent my gold coin. Oh, well. I can get him as greedy as that. Let's go talk to the potion master up here just because why not? I can't actually buy anything, but it might be useful. What the, give me a second. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> you want the delivery, boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. Uh -huh. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his convent zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? 
No, we're just very old and very judgmental <laughs> people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Uh huh. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Yeah, yeah we couldn't tell fortunes if we wanted to. Some scoundrel stole our fortune table whilst oh we were watching the parade. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen anyone rolling around Devontree with our tabletop app? No. Oh, should I tell him? Oh, I felt kind of bad. Also, I'm pretty sure these are. Uh, this is a reference to uh, Princess Bride. It has to be, right? They look exactly like him. Oop, I knocked the mouse. <laughs> uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, look up Princess Bride and. Uh, the lo uh, I, I forget what their names are, but uh, they're the ones that bring what's his name back to life. Spoilers. Um, yeah, I took your table. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I I'm sorry. I, I couldn't find anyone to pay. A man was stranded in the forest and needed a wheel, so I borrowed your table and lent it to him. Oh, that's actually pretty clever. We can't be mad at that, oh, can we? I'm so sorry. We were about to toss that old table anyway. Oh, well, there you go. Glad it's being put to use. Oh, thank the stars. We don't have to lock our doors anymore. I think we're safe now. Thanks for being honest, boy. Oh. Have a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Usually that just comes back to bite you in the ass, but, uh... You know, it actually worked out. Ooh, something mysterious and magical was brewing in that part. That's not what I wanted to click on, but oh, this. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Yep, that's the that's the one I want to give the what's her name. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Can I have Kinda one? Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. <laughs> Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. Oh, I see. Huh. All right, well. Is there anything up here? Other than the table I stole? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, he reminds me of our son. Oh. I always miss him this time of year. You... He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. Oh. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially with potions. He'll return. He just has some adventures of his own to seek. Oh, I really hope their kid's not dead. Did you find everything you were looking for? Uh. What's brewing? So, I've just gotta know what is brewing in that cauldron. Is it a transfiguration <laughs> elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? <laughs> will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly. <laughs> oh, this teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening. Um. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. We're still working out the kinks. <laughs> While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there, free of charge. Oh, so I can turn things purple? I guess. Sure. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. Oh, Jesus. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? There's a moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. <laughs> Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. 
I might not fit in here, but Aventry's my last it's shot. It's just like real life. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule makers. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's almost useless. Like, I mean, there's a couple things in there that are, like, I don't know. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, <laughs> Pumpkins. you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. But I don't have any gold coins, though. Fare thee well. May your cap be one of thinking. It always is. All right. Well, unless I find another gold coin, I'm just kind of... I'm stuck with my gardening tool. That's freaking epic. But you know what? Whatever. I'm happy with my decision. Let us leave, shall we? I want to go get those thorns. That is going to be great. She wanted me to keep this door shut, but you know what? I can't. So. Can, can I shut the door again? I'll shut it on the way out. There we go. Sweet. And then I'll just climb back around. Awesome. Let's go take care of these vines, shall we? Doop. Do 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 do. We're here. Awesome. Do it. Owned. 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 Yeah. Ballin. Are you serious, Graham? Are you serious? That was the coolest thing that I have ever seen in my life, and you threw it away. Really? Really? Damn you. No. <gasps> he is the guy that died down there. I knew it. I knew it. I said it last recording session. I knew he was the guy that died down there. I was a few steps behind, but I was hopeful a beast was in that well, and I wanted an eye to impress everyone. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that he had Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. <laughs> this story takes place before the one I told you last oh, night. Oh, I see. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. <laughs>